Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Mama. Today I'm going to talk about how censorship, in this case by the feds, coordinated with uh, social media, amounts to your opponents picking who your leaders will be. And this happens in, in more than one way. And, and, and this really obviously follows from what we talked about before. Uh, two episodes ago of my Science Moments Ago, talking about where leaders really come from. Actual leaders come via free expression. They bubble up, they raise in reputation through the organic mechanisms of free expression, and they just bubble up out of nowhere. Like, where do these people come from? They sufficiently said right or good or interesting things over time that they gained reputation at the expense of those they were arguing with, and they bubbled up. They weren't voted upon, they weren't determined by any formal processes, they bubbled up organically through the processes, through the mechanisms upon free of free expression through, by which we discover the truth. But that's also the process by which we find leaders. Right? Even elected leaders basically can't lead us well or effectively if they don't also have a high reputation within the social networks. Right? Now, of course, there's three sort of corollaries. One large corollary covering all of these is that when free expression doesn't exist, when your opponents are censoring you or otherwise messing with the mechanisms of free expression, they determine who the leaders of us, of their opponents, will be, right? Now, in the most obvious sense, they just censor, suspend, permanently suspend, uh, take down the, the, the statements or speech or the entire person off of the social network, right? There's a leader, that, or at least someone who's potentially going to, going to be a leader, gone, right? A second is that they don't entirely get rid of you, but they de-boost you. They prevent you from being seen. They use varieties of, way, of algorithms, algorithmic tricks that can keep you down below the surface. And as you know, I've been complaining, I'm approaching two years of having been labeled sensitive content. Folks are constantly DMing me saying they look all I can see. First of all, I haven't seen you in you know ages. And secondly, whenever I do see you, all I see is, hey, this is sensitive content. And when I try to uh, click it to change my settings as it as it demands. Uh, it just ends up nothing. I can't make it happen. I couldn't make my wife's, for example, account see my content. For example, going on two years, Elon. You know, I mean, Elon's only been there, let's say, four or five months. But we need to fix this. All right. So then, get rid of people. They can de-boost people, taking out potential leaders. Right. And even more diabolical, they can algorithmically boost the leaders that they want our side to have, right? And I've talked about this a few episodes ago too, in that same episode where I talked about the rise of leaders. Many of the leaders that bubbled up, that are today the supposed leaders of the anti-lockdown movement, well, they were screaming for lockdowns back in March. They were screaming for masks back in March of 2020, right? They haven't been systematically censored and suspended like many of us anti-lockdowners. They are now allowed to be the leaders. The censorship by the federal government in conjunction, con collusion, coercion of Twitter and so forth has allowed them to bubble up at the expense of those who actually were true anti-lockdowners, right? And then there's other folks, and, and not only were they not suspended, but many of them have been promoted. They're constantly being promoted. You see them on their stream. I don't want to mention any other names, but you see them on their streams. They didn't exist until just a little while ago. and. For unknown reasons, they're chosen by the algorithms, either on purpose or by the, the, the quirks of the algorithms, to be the leaders of their opposition. We don't want the leaders to be chosen by our opponents. We don't want anybody choosing it. We don't want the algorithms choosing, choosing it. It needs to be left as fair and flat as possible. The hierarchies of high reputation and low reputation folks will happen organically on their own without anyone messing with it. Both sides want the leaders that will come organically through the process of free expression, through the process by which we discover the truth and create our own leaders. We don't want any boosting. We don't want any de-boosting. We don't want any suspensions or de-platforming. None of these things are, are healthy parts of the process of free expression. And that was your science moment. If you're interested in free expression, check out Dr. Tim Barber, my free expression institute, freex.group, and see our first book that came out on this out of this sort of whole push, which is expressly human, decoding the language of emotion or on the origins of emotional expressions, what masks cover, and the foundations of free expression itself. And find this series, this is 339, Science Moment 339, ever since around episode 50 or so, this series has been devoted to issues in and around uh, the complexities of 
the issues that were thrown at us when COVID hit us in 2020. And the issues that hit us um, in 2020 of March weren't epidemiological, they were psychosocietal, and that was your science moment.